Okay, so the day has finally come. The disco's looking good. Everything runs well, but the engine is just crap. I've got the tick and I hate it. Um, it's just simply quite embarrassing when you pull up to people um, and your car is just making this horrible ticking sound. I've got a couple of uh, options, either you know, get a new engine, have this new this one built, but I think I'm going to try to find a salvage vehicle, try to find one that uh, that if something happens to has happened to it, it's uh, wrecked, but the engine is still good. So I'm uh, not going to pin the liners lining, and I'm going to search for a new engine. So. That's the plan for the Discovery 2. So I found a candidate. So this Range Rover P38 2002 has the same engine, the 4.6, and it's about two hours away. Found it on an auction site. Uh, the I was able to listen to the engine uh, on their website, and it, it looks good. It looks real good. So it's a little bit of a gamble. Um, because of COVID-19, they don't let you look at the engine and start it up and listen to it, but I was able to listen to a video clip and it sounds good. Um, my current engine does not sound good after it gets up to speed. Right at the beginning, it does feel does sound good. So hopefully uh, that's not a problem. It gets up to heating uh, operating temperature. So um, hopefully that's not an issue. So it, instead of letting it go to auction, it's got a buy now price at eight twenty five. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Um, I'm just going to take a gamble, um, buy it, and uh, sell off some of these parts and see if I can make this a cost neutral project. So here we go. This is this is the plan. This is the uh, donor P thirty eight that I found. Donor engine. All right, so the morning's come. Going to pick up that P38. So got the trailer loaded up. Scott's trailer again. Got uh, all kind of good stuff in here. Battery jacks, jumper cables. Who knows? This is set of my, my P38. So in case we need to uh, put it in there, make it easier to get it off the trailer. So uh, here we go. Two hours away. Well, got it on. Some of these parts I was hoping we could uh, sell, but no, but the engine looks good. Well, we're headed back. So, not gonna be able to sell the bumper, either one of them. Hood is messed up, so we can't salvage that. The sunroof glass is messed up. But um, other than that, it looks like it was taken care of. Some of the inside pieces were messed up, probably because the, they took the battery out. And uh, you need the battery to get it out of, uh, of uh, neutral. So I'm, I've seen that a million times with these P38s. People don't know. They try to get at, you know, getting it into uh, neutral and they tear it up. So anyway, on the way home. Right. Got it back. So, uh, looks a little rough, but we don't care about anything else really except for the uh, engine. So, uh, I, uh, there's no battery in it, so I wasn't able to get it on uh, the, was not able to get the, out of uh, neutral, into neutral. So, Hopefully I've got my uh, P38 battery. I'm gonna plug it in. Hopefully the alarm doesn't go off. Um, and it'll drive it on off, or at least roll it on off. Uh, here we go. Started right up. Um, damn, I wish I would've done that live. Just started two seconds ago.
Come on, Harden. So I just did the test drive. Engine sounds great. Engine's up to operating with temp op operating temperature. So I just did the test drive test run. Uh, engine sounds great. Oh my god. It does have to be so the front, take it off, I'm going to flush right out. But, uh, yeah, uh, engine's great. So, wow, tree really fell on it hard. But, uh, that's not the reason I bought it. Bought it for the engine. All right, day one review. So, I got the P38 to purchase it. Uh, got it trailered back home. As you can see, it got hit with a uh, pretty bad tree, but did a nice test drive. Um, so the instrument cluster B, C, M, E, C, U are all good. Key fob didn't work. Um, seats are all right. Um, and I drained the oil yesterday and drain the uh, fluid out of the uh, coolant out of the radiator and I'm gonna work on this side today that's that's the goal for today is get the uh, the passenger side all clear cleared out so uh, let's get started all right so, did, so day two recap got air conditioner removed got the alternator out the upper end, upper intake is ready to come out. I've got the hard bolts out. Just needs these six bolts. That's easy. Um, compressor, computer. Um, so I got the manifold cover off, and I actually did unscrew the uh, the um, exhaust system uh, downpipe to the manifold. So that's off, and that, those came out pretty easy. I still need to get this SAI out, and uh, we're gonna go do that right now. Uh, so this is day three. All right, day three review. Uh, so day three was a big day, got a lot done. I, uh, I gotta admit, after day two, I was, uh, I was pretty uh, overwhelmed. I didn't know if this project was uh, a little too much for me. Maybe I bit off a little too much that I could chew, but after three, I'm feeling a lot better about it. I got the headers off on this side. Obviously, I got the upper intake manifold that off. That was, I wasn't worried about that. Big thing here, I got the uh, SI, SAI pipes off and the manifold off found the secret to that is take the manifold off first and then the SAI, SAI pipes come off relatively not too bad because um, you can get access to both bolts so I also took off the water pump because I just put a brand new one on the disco so well before I do the engine swap I'll just put the new one on here so I might as well clean everything up a little bit so Today, I need to release the transmission lines, uh, coolant lines. I mean, I'm not dismantling, just uh, taking off that eight millimeter bolt, um, doing the lower bolts on the transmission, uh, taking the fuel rail off, and then just cleaning everything up a little bit. So, uh, uh, things are looking up. Things are, uh, things are looking good. So, let's get to work. Okay, day recap. So, good day. We got the uh, the engine mounts all done. We got everything cleaned up. We got the fuel rails off. We got, got the engine all cleaned up. We did uh, cleaned up up here with the uh, old uh, um, water pump. We'll, get, we'll put that on before we do the uh, engine swap. Um, the transmission lines done, uh, you know, unattached. Um, we've got the transmission bolt.
bolts all done. We still need to do today is uh, we're going to do the four bolts that connect the flywheel to the torque converter. And the, then we will lift up the engine. We will take out these engine blocks, engine, engine mounts. And uh, then we'll uh, lower the engine a little bit and we'll be able to get access to the two bolts that hold the engine and the transmission back there. And then she's, uh, she's, she's free. So uh, it'll be on to the uh, Discovery to do the same thing over there. So let's get to work. The engine is out. Uh, P38 donor engine is out. So uh, we'll be doing the swap in a couple weeks, but uh, the engine's out. So uh, after removal of the engine, got the engine loose. Now I'm starting to work on just parting this thing out. So I'm trying to uh, get as much possible. So got that side, the passenger side off, kind of blower motors and such. I'm gonna try to take this heating, the AC box out. But right now, today, we're gonna take this out. So I've had, uh, I haven't done a update in a couple days. I've uh, cleaned off where the fuel injectors go in. I'm about to do the valve covers. I wanted to do all this before we uh, do the swap. I've been uh, removing parts and pieces. Got the radiator out. Um, and then the interior looks like this. Because I'm parting it out and hopefully going to make this a cost neutral project. So, um, Let's get to work. So actually um, cut into here just to make removing the transfer case a little easier. Okay, a brief update. I am uh, cleaning the valve cover valves. We've uh, removed transmission and the transfer case. I'm selling those and um, this is what I'm doing today. So this weekend, I think we're going to be doing the, uh, the swap and we'll have everything ready for it. Okay, so the donor engine's ready to go. Everything's cleaned up, everything's ready to go. Time to start working on the D2, getting everything ready. Gonna pull it tomorrow. So today is uh, get it prepped to get it pulled. So it's engine swapping day. So about six hours later, I got uh, the engines ready to come out, uh, except for the four bolts that connect the engine to the transmission, the torques, uh, the torque to the torque converter, then the six bolts up top. So that's what we gotta do first. And then this one's freed up, we'll, we'll do the swap. Uh, I've resigned that I'm probably not going to get it all done today, but uh, if we, we at least get the swap and get the four bolts to connect the engine and the transmission and then the bell housing, I will be happy. That'll, that'll be a good day. Still shot, come on. Landscape mode, don't give me that portrait. Ready? Yeah, go for it.
I just would have known where the plug is to unplug the, you know, the coolant from the, from the block. Yeah. I just don't even know where it is. Me either. We'll have to look. Oh, we got one out. That's a that's an engine right there. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Woohoo! Bluetooth, come on, Bluetooth. Uh, I'm gonna shut it down just because I want the Bluetooth. I want to see uh, what's going on. Yeah, we're roll. Yeah, we're rolling. Temperature's looking good. Disco's running well. Engine sounds really good. Everything's going good so far. So here's the gaskets. They actually look all right. A little bit of tear there, probably didn't, it's probably on the outside. Um, this is the, I'm thinking was the slip sleeve, I'm not sure. Um, Look at this one. It's definitely some different wear on that one. Anyway, it's done now. Okay, we're about 30 days past uh, when I brought the donor rover home. And uh, we're taking it to the uh, scrap yard. So, not even a salvage yard. This is going to go straight to a crusher. So let's go see how much money we made. Tried to uh, save a couple of dollars by getting this cheap little dolly. Only having to go a couple of miles. And uh, say goodbye donor P38. No scrapping that right.